Hey guys, it's the big day. The iPhone XR is out. It's the mid-tier phone. Let's see how breakable it is. So this is an aluminum and glass combination. Apple didn't make it very clear what kind of glass this is, but I'm assuming it's the same one as the iPhone XS series. And I'm just gonna be comparing it to the iPhone 8 as it is directly replacing that phone 8 and 8 Plus series as a placeholder. Honestly, it's a very chunky phone. This thing feels durable to me and I'm thinking it'll do pretty good. So it does have an aluminum 7000 series border, which does absorb shock pretty well and has extra bezel on the edges. Don't know how that'll affect the breakability and the fact that it's an LCD, but let's go ahead and test it out as is tradition. So more entertainment than anything. Of course, use a case, use a screen protector, but as always, I just like to do this kind of stuff. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and start. So with the iPhone 8, we're gonna be doing waist height, head height, and then go a little bit further if they're still alive as usual. So let's have some malevolent fun and introduce these to the ground. Here we go. Waist height on the side, iPhone 8 series. One, two, three, leave that and the iPhone XR. This thing is quite heavy, so there's a lot of mass when it reaches the floor. So clean looking. This is the yellow. Um, matches my caution tape over here nicely. There we go. Three, two, one. Okay, pretty average falls, still fine. Nothing to report here. So let's go to the back. This is where, you know, it's really gonna be apparent how durable this glass is. So from waist height to the iPhone 8 series, one, two, three. That was pretty bad, let's check on it. Oh, it's good, all right. Still hanging in there, and its successor, the iPhone XR. So one, two, three. Okay, that did not sound very good. Oh, okay, so the lens the lens protrudes, I think, more, yeah, definitely more than the iPhone 8 series, so I feel like that has a greater chance of breaking, because it's the first thing that hits the ground. Otherwise, aluminum is holding up pretty well, but not as durable as the stainless steel, okay? Otherwise, it's pretty good. Let's keep going. Face down, waist height. It'd be a shame if it broke from uh, this height, but here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, that's so painful. I mean, I've been doing this for years and every single time, trust me, it gets me. Literally doing it as a tradition at this point. Even though I know everyone uses cases and all that, but still. Here we go, three, two, one. All right, you can see that has survived. Nice little flip there. Screen is fine. So LCD, believe it or not, is more durable when it comes to shock compared to OLED. There are times when people just drop an OLED display and it's not apparent at first, but later they'll get some lines. Organic LED definitely is more fragile than LCD, but it's held up pretty well. Both are still in good shape. Let's step it up a notch to head height here. On the side, in three, two, one. Okay, that was bad but still has survived, surprised, okay. Same thing for this one, three, two, one. Perfect edge shot. Okay, so no deformations yet, just some dents here, but still holding up very well. This feels like a very tough phone, just something about it. Maybe it's how thick it is, how hefty it feels, but Feel solid. Okay, I think this is where we're gonna start seeing some backs cracking. So, okay, iPhone 8 first. One, two, three. Um, definitely probably broken. And I guess not, okay. Wow, that can take a beating. And keep going, here we go. Can, uh, I believe, the world's most durable glass? I don't know for sure. They talked about the 10s, but let's see if this can withstand the same fall. In three, two, one. Ouch. Oh my gosh, how? That's amazing. Somehow both are still surviving, still working at this point. Okay, um, still keep going, but wow. 
there is some durability magic going into these. Okay, let's keep going. Actually kind of amazed at how great of shape it's still in. Face down in three, two, one. Okay, yeah, there we go, that did it. And I just saw the last life go out of this phone. The screen just dimmed, still working. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, that's completely unusable, but the phone is still working, vibration motor is still working. So that's what it took. That's our benchmark here. And the iPhone XR from the same distance. Three, two, one. Wow, oh my gosh. Same distance, you guys saw it, same fall has survived where the iPhone 8 has not. So, you know, at this point, without doing anything more extreme, I can say the iPhone XR is ridiculously durable. Nothing has broke from head height falls. That's six drops in total. And, you know, it has some scuffs on the bottom, but the aluminum is holding up very well. It's very tough. I feel like this is even more durable than the XS just because the aluminum absorbs the shock a little bit more. The stainless steel doesn't deform the same way. So I'm very impressed. Okay. Um, at this point, let's see if we can break it. So at this point, we're gonna do the 10 foot drop or eight foot as close as we can to that just because we haven't broken it yet. And this one's down for the Campbell. Let's see what it takes to break the back anyways. All right, let's head to the ladder. Okay, somehow the iPhone XR has held up through all of this abuse and droppings, but eight, nine feet. Let's see, let's see how it does. Here we go, three, two, one. Wow, one. Violent droppings, lots of spins, and yet somehow still unbroken. Huh. Yeah, this corner definitely took a beating. Metal's all dented up, scuffed. But still, the yellow shines, looks really nice, despite all of that damage. So well done, Apple, very well done. Now, now's when we're gonna start seeing some broken glass, for sure, like there's no way around this. Here we go, some blood, give them blood. Here we go, in three, two, one. Yeah, that did it, finally. One. No, no way, that's still good. But that finally did in the back, and what a spectacular sight. Spider webbing that's so dense it's gonna affect your flash module. But somehow the sapphire lens cover is not broken. It's still smooth glass up here, over here it's chipping, definitely gonna cut yourself if you're not careful. iPhone text, still good. So, you know, what can I say? It's durable up until the point until it's not. All it takes is that one fall, that one angle that you didn't expect. Sometimes people tell me they literally drop it right outside their car, like a foot above the ground and it breaks. So you never really know, but I got pretty lucky with this one. And uh, let's see if the iPhone 8 breaks at the same height as well. iPhone 8 in three, two, one. One. Okay. Front got more destroyed, I'm seeing the internals there. Yeah, that did it for this one as well. This is a beautiful spider webbing. It's like an artwork. So both from a nine foot fall do break. Well, let's see the front. I guarantee this will break, but if it doesn't, what do I do? We'll, we'll break it somehow. There we go. In three, two, one. One. From what I can see, that, oh, it did break uh, for a moment there. I thought it hadn't. Okay. Shock was just too much and wow, the screen is actually not responding. Dude, not only is the screen not responding, the actual phone has completely frozen. Like the vibration motor isn't working, the volume adjustment isn't working, the power button isn't working. That's a first. I have shocked this phone into completely freezing. And there's that, cool. So that's what it took, you know, for both of these to break. Uh, the iPhone XR definitely is the most durable here. I would go so far as to say that this is more durable than the iPhone XS. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.
Oh, whoa, look at that. It's respringing and uh, it works again. Okay, cool. First time ever seeing something like that. So it's still working despite it all. You can continue to use it while cutting yourself slowly on the shards. But all right, guys, peace.